guys, this is Sharad with We Simply. I'm super excited to have Brett Ivanovich on this call. Uh, he's been using We Simply for over a year, and I wanted to get him on a call and just you know share his experience on what he's thought. He's been part of our 1.0 and now 2.0 journey. So welcome, Brett. How are you, man? I'm awesome, man. Thanks for having me, Sharad. What's going yeah. on, everybody out there? <laughs> Thank you for being on the call, man. Yeah, if you can just share a little bit about who you are, what kind of investing you do, and what market. Yes, yeah, so uh, I'm actually uh, now remote living in uh, Antigua, Guatemala. Uh, my market is primarily based in upstate New York, specifically Rochester and some of the surrounding counties from there. You know, I've been dabbling in real estate for uh, like over 10 years, but it was about four years ago where I really decided to pick something and go 100% into it. And that was wholesaling for me. And a lot of that uh, that journey involved trying to find systems to build build a business with and that's where we are today and i'm on this call with charade because we decided to move forward using re simply awesome man and how long have you been using recently yeah it's about a year and a half we've been using re simply i believe and what were you using before you switched over to be simply do you remember uh, i went through a podio phase where i wanted to rip out all my hair <laughs> I, I don't even know what that was. I, I was trying to hire developers and third party affiliates to build out yeah. a business for me that had no idea what it looked like. I think that's a new wholesaler. Like you understand you need a CRM, but you have no idea what a business model looks like or what Absolutely. tools you actually need to be successful. And then getting started, you don't need elaborate systems. You just need very basic. Something to uh, get you off the ground. Track things. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Then I went into REI Black Book for maybe six or seven months. And that was probably just as bad. It was a little better because they, they had a framework, but there were just things that just didn't make sense and weren't effective and efficient to look long term. We found out about Ari simply through following uh, Ryan Dossi. Awesome. Man. What were some of the biggest challenges that you were looking to solve before coming to Recently? For me, I think the biggest challenge in the business getting started was like data, okay. uh, managing all your your data. And I just started using the less stacking feature, which is great. But you have all these these contacts or points of contacts or prospects. I got really one of the parts of growing a business too. Is like being a good steward of your money and to be effective and tracking it and manage everything as well. So like we have all the data that we're spending thousands and thousands of dollars on. How do I make sure I'm not just letting those data sets go to waste uh, to make sure that I have a way to track the people who are actually interested in doing business with me? Yeah. Absolutely, man. That for me also is the piece, you know, also being an accountant, it just kind of brings everything together in the business. So you might have people doing acquisition disposition but it's the accounting piece that brings everything uh, together. That's like my least favorite thing to do. And I had to learn how to, to you know, look at, understand KPIs and all those things. Yeah. But and it's great that um, already simply, that's another thing that a lot of these CRMs, they don't have, they don't like, I had to go to different masterminds and use Excel spreadsheets and build these KPI, you know, I had someone working on KPI, like a KPI dashboard for me for like almost a year and just trying to figure that out. Well, I mean, it's not even as effective. So that's a huge component of, of this as well. Absolutely, man. No, I totally get that. The more integrations that you do, the more chances of things breaking down. It should mm -hmm. be, especially the data pass should be, you click a button and everything should be in front of you and, and you can just make better decisions based on that. So, and uh, sure. before you switched over to Resimply, did you have any reservations, any fear about switching to Resimply? Uh, there's a very few people that I like and trust in the RE, the real estate space. I mean, you don't even know what to believe. Uh, I think right. now on social media, but I liked Ryan I and mean, I had been following him for a while and he seemed pretty authentic. And I think I had chatted with him a few times on Instagram and um, we use Call Porter. So I think his brother or something might have got that started. Yeah, so, him, I, so I got got to talk to him a handful of times. So it was kind of just through through them that, you know, them using that system and him understanding how his business operates and the size and complexity of his business just gave me the confidence to bite the bullet and just trust the trust the process and trust the system that it works. Absolutely. Yeah, and I can tell like Ryan Dossi is a very active investor, like everything that he teaches, he's actually doing that in his business. But he's not 
a guru out there just telling people, hey, you should be doing this and but not actually doing that. So he's one of those very few people that are actually doing everything yeah. that he's teaching. So yeah, exactly. fantastic. And what's been the biggest value that you've gotten from recently? There's a ton of value in there. Uh, I think what I like about it most, I mean, there it does a lot. I mean, the name is says Ari Simply for a reason. And it is very simple to use. I mean, uh, but I think like, I've been able to set up a bunch of different phone numbers to, to track my marketing, call flows and how my call flows work to manage my incoming calls, to manage my text and cold calling campaigns, all the way to the automated follow-up campaigns to make sure um, no prospect is left behind. And then especially the, the lead status page, which allows me to see my leads. But most recently, we've got a pretty small team. I think we have four four people working, maybe more now because I just let my attorney in there, but four or five people working in there. And now a real estate agent too, which he, I just brought him in there. But it's been able to just assign tasks and communicate effectively with the people in our business to make sure that um, everything is moving forward and everyone is, is on the same page to get these deals, the settlement, to get our appointments, to get those offers out and, and things like that. So it just, it allows us to easily just communicate and create tasks within um, within our team and within that system. No, absolutely, man. It's like, especially as your team grows, that's where the complexity of the system grows and that's where you want to keep everything super simple. Uh, so you can like manage everything and we're rolling our leaderboard this week also that's going to help you kind of keep everybody very accountable in your team and i'll, I'll touch base on that one if you guys are watching this i mean karat is a freaking rock star i don't Thank know how you. he answers everyone's questions on facebook and do you sleep oh no i i'm a very time block man when i'm on facebook so i'll just go in just quickly answer everything when i'm uh, not on facebook then i'm completely disconnected you're out. But he he has been. I remember I what was the before 2.0 got launched. I mean they, yeah. and this thing just keeps getting better and better and better and better and better every quarter, every month. They're always doing these new updates um, with disposition. I mean even the new dialer. They're going to be launching the live calls, the live yeah. transfer. I mean that's huge too. So there's just so many things that are changing. I mean I'm not looking for a CRM right now, but I don't think there's even anything that that could compete with this based on what it's allowed me to do and not try to, you know, cause other CRMs, you have to pull, like you're pulling different systems to try to all work together, right? Yeah. You don't need to do that. And that's what's yeah. so great about it. Absolutely. Yeah, no, that was our goal was to just make something super simple. We wanted real estate investors to just work on the business and not have to worry about any of the tech side of it. So, you know, it's, it's very rewarding to see people like yourself and other investors that we're working with are seeing the value of that. Awesome, man. Anything else you would like to add? Like to share? Not really. I mean, some people might not not think this is anything crazy, but I I, I really love that. What I can um, I I send out individual postcards a lot, which you can set up the automated postcards. I think within the drip campaign, okay. but there's a lot of times that I just I'm not getting through with the text. I'm not getting through with the call. I'm not getting through through an email, but I know they're gonna get that postcard in the mail. So I, I I love that I can send those individual postcards. Um, yeah. Especially Those if leads. the initial contact that you had with them was through a letter or a postcard, people don't realize how, how effective that is to send them a postcard again. Sure, I appreciate it. Thank you, man. Thanks. So this was a testimonial from one of our very active users. If you would like to learn more on how we simply can help you close more deals and make more money in your wholesaling business, check us out at resimply.com. And if you're ready to sign up and would like to get 50% off the first month, use the link in the video description or in the pinned comment for this video and you'll get 50% off the first month. Thank you so much for watching this video and have a great day.